Hi there. Let's talk about the break apart mental math strategy for addition. So breaking apart numbers is basically decomposing them by their place value. That's what we're referring to. So place value understanding is essential, which helps build our students' conceptual understanding of addition. So you can break apart both numbers in, an, in a problem, and I actually have a different video on left to right addition that will be helpful for you if, um, if you're interested in that. In this video, I'm going to focus on only breaking apart one of the numbers. So this strategy is very closely related to left to right addition, but it might be more efficient for some of your students. So what we're going to do is decompose one of the numbers. And I'm going to choose the smaller number to decompose because for me, I think it's more efficient to begin with the bigger number. So we're going to take the 12 and decompose it into a 10 and a two, and then we're just going to add in parts. So we'll start with 47 and we'll add the 10 first. And that gives us 57. And then we'll add the two and that gives us a sum of 59. Okay, now we could, if we had um, this problem to solve, in this case, I'm still going to start with the bigger number. So I'm going to decompose the 23 here into a 20 and a three and add it to 54 in parts. So I'll start out with 54 plus 20 to make 74. And then I'll add on the leftover three to make 77. Now it's important when we teach any math strategy to use the CRA model, which stands for Concrete Representational Abstract. And this way of teaching will maximize your students' conceptual understanding. Now it is common when we get to more advanced strategies like break apart to not use manipulatives anymore. Sometimes we think our students are past it. Sometimes we're just in a rush to get to the abstract phase because we see that as the end goal. But it is still really important to be using concrete materials like base tens in order to teach and reinforce this strategy and to give your students visuals that they will use to construct their own understanding. So the concrete phase is when we use things like base 10 blocks or other manipulatives. The representational stage is when we draw pictures of those concrete materials or other representations. So for example, we could draw base 10 blocks when we are working in the representational phase. And the abstract is when we simply work with the numbers and the symbols. So this is abstract. So we don't want to start here. Okay, we want to start over here. And even better, we want to try to incorporate all of these phases into as many lessons as we can. So if you think of the CRE model, like a Venn diagram, we want to aim as much as possible to get our lessons right there, where we're incorporating some concrete experience, some representational activities, and then our abstract representations as well. So let's take a look at how we could use base tens to work with the break apart strategy. So if we are solving 25 plus 14, we could choose one of the numbers to represent with base tens. And we could start with 25 and then we could count up by place value. So first we'll add the tens. So 25 plus 10 is 35. And then we'll add the four leftovers to make 39. Okay. We could also represent both of these numbers with base tens, but we could, instead of grouping them by tens and ones, like we might do for left to right addition, we can simply start with 25 and then add 35, 39. So this is a great way to make the break apart strategy very concrete. If you enjoyed this mental math strategy video, I encourage you to check out the rest of my YouTube channel or head over to my website, www.shellygrayteaching.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.